It was an unusual encounter, never happened before, at Tel Aviv University on February 14 and 15, a conference devoted entirely to Christianity and its role in the arts of the Holy Land. The event has taken place here for 21 years now, but this time it was enhanced by the presence of the Casas of the Holy Land. Invited for the first time to make a contribution, Father Pizabal underlined during the 40 minutes of his speech the fundamental contribution that Christians, and especially the Franciscans, have made to the architecture and archaeology of this land. Many people from Israeli society came to listen to the professor, who returned to teaching after many years. The audience was generally interested in learning more about a subject that is not discussed very often. It feels a bit like going some years back to my old life, to what I did before becoming Custos, when I also like to talk about these things. I believe that when it comes to art, there are no boundaries. Art touches the heart of every person and it knows no boundaries of religion, race, or culture. I believe that on these issues, interreligious and intercultural dialogue is not only a duty, but also a pleasure typical of the Holy Land. Bellarmine Bagatti and Antonio Barluzzi are two examples of how Franciscan archaeology and architecture have brought to life real gems of churches and holy sites. St. Anne in Jerusalem, the chapel of Dominus Flevit, the Basilica of Mount Tabor, they represent a life spent in creating buildings, said the Custos, fitting to the place and mystery that is remembered on these sites. Together, they contributed in creating, for several generations, a different mentality and approach to the holy places, to the prayer and architecture of the sanctuaries. The presentation impressed the former dean of the university professors, Nurit Kinan Keder, one of the promoters of the meeting and a great admirer of Franciscan works. With the other organizers, she invited everyone, young and all, secular and religious Israeli Jews, to visit the Christian holy places and the Franciscan schools, a habit that has been somewhat lost with time. First you saw what the Custos said in his speech. He spoke, for example, about the modesty of building new constructions over the historical site. So one thing they already show us that with modesty, with modesty, you can feel much deeper and you can uh, be much truer to, uh, truer to yourself than with, uh, with richness and so on. I think that the Franciscans, they are keeping the traditional values of the Franciscan order since St. Francis and since uh, Bonaventura. And when they speak of joy, they speak of spiritual joy. And I wish that other people would do like this. The Casas of the Holy Land quoted St. Bernard before concluding, I wish you to personally get to know these beautiful works of art, because to know is also to be edified and therefore to edify, and to know in order to edify is charity.